A gyro compass determines true north based on gravity and the Earth's rotation. The output signal is sent to various parts of the ship for use with the autopilot system, the radar, the Inmarsat, and the AIS. The gyro compass's main function is to indicate true north and continuously output azimuth signals. Here we'll look at the method of starting and stopping the gyro compass and error correction. Let's consider gyro compasses from Japan's two leading manufacturers. With the gyro compass made by Yokogawa, when the main power switch is turned on, a rotor in the gyrosphere starts to turn. The repeater switch is turned on when the rotor is at full speed and the phase current decreases to a preset value. The azimuth direction that all repeaters indicate will be the zero degree position and the master compass will then be adjusted to this zero degree point. The azimuth direction signal sent to other equipment can be selected from among gyro 1, gyro 2, and external. Turning off the main power switch stops the system. For the gyro compass made by Tokyo Keiki, turn on the main power switch. Check the ship's position, latitude, and ship speed, then set the starting azimuth. If a discrepancy between the indication of the gyro compass and that of the repeater compass is discovered, adjust the repeater compass. Make adjustments using the knob on the side of the repeater compass. For the Yokogawa product, press the synchronization button. Gyro compasses are subject to latitude and velocity errors. These error margins are usually corrected automatically using GPS latitude and log speed signals. When automatic input is not available or the input signal is known to be incorrect, switch to manual operation and make adjustments based on the correct data. The ship is constantly shaking due to rolling and pitching motion. This motion increases the gyro compass margin of error. One solution for this problem is to use two gyro rotors. One method of gyro compass error measurement is the amplitude method. The other is measurement using the azimuth of the ship's berth. Gyro compass errors should be measured at regular intervals and the measurements recorded.